Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 22nd, 2021. Had a little struggle with the cards there. So let's see. Oh, see? All right. Y'all might think I'm weird. Okay. <laughs> but listen, when I, oh, I'm shuffling them upside down. When I am shuffling a deck, if the cards don't, I mean, these are just like pretty easy to shuffle, right? Not a big deal. If they get stuck, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> if they're flying everywhere and I'm talking beyond jumper cards where the one just kind of sticks out or whatever, or they're flying everywhere. I always feel like that is a message about the kind of energy. So there's a little bit of a stuck, a little bit of a scattered energy perhaps around today. Why? There are things we're having this conflict between the truth that we know, the truth of our soul, the truth of our spiritual selves, the truth of um, even in otherworldliness, uh, you know, your beingness, all, whatever you want to call it, all those things that we attach to that feeling, right? That authentic self feeling that's in stark contrast to what we're being fed, to what we're seeing other people doing short circuiting. Why? They left the vessel open. Now I'm not saying that they're possessed. I'm not saying that. Any one of us at any time could look. That's why I say, you know, when you are getting into a low space, feel what you got to feel, but give yourself a chance to process that and start coming back up. That's why when somebody's in a low space and they don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, they are leaving themselves wide open for more negativity to come to them. I've done it myself. Moving to Colorado Springs was a horrible, almost like a dark night of the soul kind of moment. And I'm sorry, someone had left me a comment saying, how do you stay so positive with all the negativity going on in Colorado? Um, I have expressed before, I don't know why this is. Well, I guess if I tuned in, I would figure out why. I'm always seemingly called to live in places where some healing needs to occur. Okay, so I, I may, I'm going to talk about this. I feel like maybe some of you need to hear this. So um, I moved to L.A. in the late 90s, like very end of the 90s. And if you have any idea of what was going on, there was an earthquake, the L.A. riots. I mean, there was tons of stuff that when I got there, people were still talking about how they were traumatized from those experiences. And I would listen to that. I moved to New York City in 2003 uh, ended up by chance living right near what we refer to as the pit i've told this before in previous videos and when i moved there there were still people handing out flyers asking have you seen my dad do you know where my sister is she went to work that day you know it was very raw and very recent you know so and then colorado springs obviously when i moved here there were two horrible things um that happened that seems to be like a theme in Colorado. I don't know why. Um, and of course I had moved here right after two major fires. So how do I find positivity in that? By connecting into who I am in um, like a spiritual sense. When things are not making sense on the surface, I could very easily go, oh my gosh, why am I always surrounded by negativity? It's so easy to do that and to run away somewhere where I think I can hide from all of it. But when someone is coming up to me and it takes nothing to get them to say, yeah, I remember where I was on that morning. I was right over at that coffee shop and I just heard this horrendous noise and all I could do was run and the dust was choking me and I, I didn't know what I, if I was going to live or die. You know, when someone's coming up and telling me that story and what have we been saying? You can hold presence. You can hold a space of love for them. That's how you realize there's something behind this. It's not the universe just trying to make us feel negative or scared or hurt or whatever. It's so we can start learning to be there for one another. And in turn, it really does help all of us get in touch with our souls. Does that make sense in how I'm saying it? I'm not sure if I'm really explaining that the way to the depth of what I'm feeling right now, but, um, when things happen and there is negativity and, and some of the horrific things that have been occurring, especially in Colorado, 
I go into action mode. Like not, maybe action mode isn't the way to put it. <laughs> I, I kind of, that, do you know the feeling? Just, if you meditate a lot, you know that moment where you're kind of coming to that calm space and you're connecting with that soul self. And of course I pray, I bring in the light, I send the energy out, and that's what we're doing. If we get hung up on the surface level and we don't allow ourselves to see the wisdom behind it, not that there could be much wisdom behind things like violence, of course, that's not exactly what I mean, but um, you understand why you're in that place and what you're supposed to be doing. Now, your purpose might be very different than mine. Maybe your purpose is to be more logistical. Let's handle the logistics of an aftermath, right? A lot of people watching this video, you may not be good at that because you do get too emotionally involved. Most of you are empaths, right? So you, you do tend to soak it up. And I totally understand then why you say, how do you function when there's just so much hurt and pain? We can't take all of that in. We're here to serve. Everyone's here to serve in one way or another. And don't forget, I got to come out with that video on Akashic Records. We are like little reporters, okay, for our own Akashic Records and for the general, uh, you know, collective Akashic Records or whatever, if you want to see it that way, okay? So I just, I don't know, I just felt the need to go down that road and talk about that. I hope, I hope you're still here with me because we have to pull a card. <laughs> All right. Some days the messages just kind of come very like this. Other times we're going deeper and we're kind of flowing around and doing the thing and it's an amoeba, okay? <laughs> All right. Very stuck. Okay, there it is. All right. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. And look, the, immediately I see a stormy sea. Now that doesn't mean that this is gonna be a bad day. It's just really, what it is on the surface is not what it is underneath. So again, a sea may be super stormy on the surface, calm at its depths, right? So again, that whole example I was giving about, which is a perfect example of we see so much negativity out there, how do we cope? How do we handle, oh my gosh, the stuff, man. All, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to go any deeper than that. And this is saying it's not what it seems. And the outcomes that we're just assuming will come, that there will always be hate, that people will always find a way to fight one another, or there will always be sickness, there will always be fear, you know, whatever, especially mental illness, there will always be that. Nothing is yet set in stone. It doesn't have to be that way. We're still in the midst of a very deep learning process. And when these things happen, okay, we're shooting that um, energy out or that energy gets shot out into the collective. If you've ever gone through a really hard time, most people have, hello, um, where do you go? Do you retreat within? Or do you act out? People who are very aware of their souls immediately go checking in, go back to mission control. Something, so I don't, I don't know about this out here. What's in here? What do I do? That's where we can access some wisdom. That's where we, again, it's not making excuses for what just happened, but it's understanding what it's teaching us. And then if somebody is acting out, that could be someone who has forgotten their soul. And maybe they're blaring out because they don't feel there's anywhere to anchor in. And so they're trying to throw things out to get it to stick somewhere else so I feel more secure, right? So if we see that going on, you, no, you don't have to partake in that kind of energy. Um, I do have a feeling like there's a teenager out there, someone has teenagers and someone might be acting like that, try it. Try to get them stabilized, actually, and bring it back in. Help them remember themselves, and don't you forget you either, all right? It's not going to turn out the way we think. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love, and take care.